YouTube, my name is Miles Anderson. I'm a professional joke explainer, and today I'm explaining Crystalia uh, with this new special, Grow or Die. is uh, one of the best comedians working today. So we just have a short clip here from his new special, uh, Grow or Die, which I assume is uh, out on Netflix. Um, so let's, uh, give it a, let's give it a go. We watch a bunch of Netflix, and then we stop watching Netflix the day Netflix coming out of a bunch of shit. Listen, it was a woke move, but- Okay, so I don't think it's coming out on Netflix. It sounds like um, this bit is about, uh, this is sort of an anti-Netflix bit. It was a business move, and for that, I understand. But let me just tell you one thing about it, all right? Let me tell you, okay? All right, listen. One of the things that Netflix cut me out of was an episode of a TV series, and another person in another- Okay, so yeah, this is definitely not on Netflix. Um, this is a- uh... This is out on something else, I'm not quite sure yet. Another episode of that same TV series was Caitlyn Jenner. Now listen, all right? I don't know if you know this, but Caitlyn Jenner fucking killed someone, okay? She killed someone, she killed someone. Google it, she killed someone! And she's in the thing. <laughs> so Caitlyn Jenner uh, killing someone isn't really that, isn't really that funny, um, but the fact that Caitlyn Jenner gets to remain on Netflix and Chris D'Elia has been cut from Netflix is uh, very funny. The thing and I'm not in the thing! Dude, she killed someone. She ran a dude over. That guy died. He's still dead. His family, his family's sad, so sad. And she's in the thing and I'm not in the thing! Listen, we all make mistakes, but hers was murder. Big applause break there. So, so that sort of joke is uh, sort of about uh, Chris D'Elia. Uh, he's kind of complaining about how uh, he was on Netflix, and then for uh, just like pretty much no reason at all, he was uh, cut from Netflix's programming. Whereas Caitlyn Jenner uh, murdered someone with her car, and that's why. And, but she still gets to be on Netflix. And so he's sort of, um, he's complaining about this in a very funny way on stage and the, the crowd is really loving it. Uh, he's getting a big applause break here. It's, he's really smart as a comedian because he fills the audience with people who really like him, which is a really smart idea because they're always going to really give it up uh, when you sort of are complaining about how your career is going. So very smart, very funny comedian. And she's in the thing and I'm not in the thing! Just make it make sense. So again, he uses the repetition. She's in the thing and I'm not in the thing. He said this a couple times now. Um, sometimes when you're crafting a joke, sometimes it's all about the rhythm and he knows if he says it a few more times, uh, the crowd is gonna love it and they do. If you're gonna cancel people, definitely cancel the murderers. <laughs> and until then, me and my son, we watch Hulu, okay? Yep, we're motherfucking Hulu boys, you know? <laughs> okay, so I'm, I'm assuming this, uh, this special is out on Hulu then, so that's where you can look for it. <laughs> Honestly, uh, Hulu's not as good as Netflix. Dude, it's... Okay, maybe it's, maybe it's not on Hulu. <laughs> I have to be honest, it's not, dude. Netflix has some bangers, but here's why. Here, there's one reason why uh, Hulu isn't as good as Netflix. There's one reason, right? And this is the reason, okay? Uh, cause 30% of the shit on Hulu has Gordon Ramsay in it. Now, it's like Gordon entirely Ramsey's too much Gordon Ramsay. Comedian. For, if you turn on the homepage of Hulu, there's like nine different images of Gordon Ramsay and he's just like... <laughs> like even movies, I turn on a movie on Hulu and the main character climbs the top of a mountain and uh, Gordon Ramsay's up there. And he's it's like, would you like a steak? Like, dude. Great accent. By the way, how the fuck has Gordon Ramsay not been canceled yet, for real? Like, he's a dick on 11 TV shows, and they've all been on a decade. Like, you have the footage, get him. So that's another kind of another funny comparison, because he's, again, he's mentioned Caitlyn Jenner was canceled, or not canceled, sorry. Caitlyn Jenner was not canceled despite being a murderer. Um, Gordon Ramsay hasn't been canceled, even though he's a super mean guy on camera. And but Chris D'Elia was canceled for some reason. Um, so that's kind of the joke there. 
For a, dude, every episode is the same. He'll, every episode of every TV show is the same. He'll walk into someone's kitchen that isn't his, and he'll just be like, all right, who the fuck is in charge here? <laughs> and then the guy in charge will come out, and he'll be like, hey, uh, it's me. And then Gordon Ramsay will like take two pieces of bread and, and like put it on the guy's ears, and, and he'll be like, you're a fucking bologna sandwich, mate. Dude, and the guy will be like, you're right, I have been a bologna sandwich. Like, how's that okay? That's assault. So he's just sort of describing uh, an episode of Kitchen Nightmares here, uh, a very funny show that started in England on the BBC. Um, a lot of the time comedians will draw from the experience they've had in life. And so it seems like for the last couple of years, Crystal Lee has been watching a lot of Hulu, uh, getting caught up on Gordon Ramsay programs. And so he, he's uh, thought about this a lot and he's compiled it all into a really clever comedy special for us all. And uh, this is uh, the, the clip that he's showing as a preview for his special is just he wants us to know that uh, he's been he's been watching a lot of Kitchen Nightmares the last couple of years. And um, he's excited to talk about that. <laughs> Very funny stuff. Could you imagine if I was out there doing that? Like, for real, if I was out there, me, Chris D'Elia, if I was out putting bread on people's faces, like, if I started doing that at 6 p.m., by 6.05, TMZ would be like, gah, gah, gah. <laughs> Disgraced comedian Chris D'Elia resurfaces, and this time he's putting bread on people's faces. So that's a really interesting little bit there. I don't think that was the whole joke, but... Um, He's doing an impression of TMZ, but he's doing a little uh, hip motion there to sort of, you know, make it silly. Uh, sometimes if what you're saying isn't um, uh, very, very funny, uh, you can just kind of move your legs around and uh, the crowd loves it. I mean, again, he's one of the best. There'll be a hashtag trending on Twitter like, we're not all bologna sandwiches. <laughs> Another white guy with his privilege. I can't get canceled again. Dude, if I got canceled again, at that point, I'd have to be like, fuck it, I'm trans. <laughs> and run someone over. Okay, so he brings it all, all back around uh, to make another comparison. Um, he obviously has a lot of animosity towards Caitlyn Jenner here. Um, it's either real or fake. You can never really know with comedians. I think maybe he's playing it up for the crowd a little bit. Um, but he does, uh, he does seem to be quite upset about it, which is very funny. Sorry, I'm a woman! All right, so that was from Chris D'Elia's uh, Grow or Die special. Okay, it looks like it's, uh, it's being... Um, uh, televised on chrisdalia.com. If you guys want to check that out, uh, give give it a watch. He's one of the best comedians working today. Very very funny stuff from Chris D'Elia. Uh, again, it's been a pleasure to explain his jokes. If you guys are interested in seeing more of these jokes explained videos, please like and subscribe. We'll be doing more of these in the future. Thanks so much for watching.